Hello, it's Indira. Welcome back to Indie Arts Creations. I got a great response from the last painting of the double bottom bottle reverse dip that um, I'm going to do it again. I got a request. I actually got two requests and I won't do them back to back just so that we have some um, some differences in techniques but I am going to do this next one and it's going to take me a little out of my comfort zone um if I'm not mistaken if this isn't my first time it is maybe my second time but I don't think I've done it a lot so what do I mean about taking me out of my comfort zone so with this request Dion from Philadelphia asked me to do a different negative space and primarily, you'll see a lot of negative space that is black or white, but negative space can be whatever you would like it to be. So Dion has requested that I do cayenne. <laughs> that was interesting as she kind of remembered this color from a different painting. So we're gonna do a cayenne negative space. And then for our um, colors, we're using green, yellow, blue, I'm not saying them in any type of order, um, gold and orange, and they are not in the order. And we're gonna do a double bottom again. So we're gonna have the bottles on top of each other. And so, you know, I'll, when I get to that point, I'll tell you what colors are on the top versus what colors are on the bottom. So let's get started with the cayenne. I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, thank you again for joining. This is really exciting when I get requests. Sometimes I get requests for colors and not necessarily technique. And then I'm left to think about what would be the best technique for those colors. Or sometimes I may see colors or think about colors and again, I'm kind of always wondering, okay, so I have some colors in mind, but how can I capture those colors in the best way? Um, because, you know, certain colors don't necessarily play well together. Certain colors can muddy, and you know, when you put them on the canvas, they might not, you know, mix very well. And so you have to take all of those things in consideration when you're painting because the last thing you want to do is have a painting and you have some nice colors and you thought that they would go well together but then they really didn't right so those are all things that you have to take in consideration i'm gonna put a little more on and i need to save some because i don't think that there's a lot on the sides so um with the last one, um, and it's not dry yet, so I couldn't show it to you. But with the last one, I really liked it. Like that was um, that was my second time trying that technique. Um, the first time I tried it on a much larger canvas, and it just didn't come out the way that I had hoped it would. Um, and so the last painting, it, it really came out really, really nice. Um, let me think. Oh, the only thing is, is that um, it was a little, let me think. The canvas either was a little small or I just added too much paint. <laughs> so I chuckled there because I'm always kind of wondering if I have enough paint. Um, how much paint will I waste? And those types of things. And here it is. I kind of use too much. So what does that mean exactly? Um, so if you use too much paint, depending on, you know, what you're looking for, um, what can happen is, is that, so paint, or this type of art is fluid, right? 
And so what that means is that the paint will still continue to move once we stop the camera, right? And once I stop after my all of my touch-ups and things, the paint still shifts. That's why it's important when you hear me say that I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to um, tighten up the sides and different things. What I'm also doing is I'm going under the canvas and I am um, getting any excess paint, excess paint off because when you leave it, what happens is that it can pull the paint that's on the canvas down. And so I'm always going under and making sure that there's not a whole lot of paint that's dripping. Because again, if it drips, then it can pull the other paint. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Um, let's put our bottle bottoms on. Okay, so the way that this is gonna work is we're gonna do green, orange, and yellow. And on the other one, we're just going to do the blue and the gold. So we're starting with green. We're going to get in those crevices really good. We know that we'll do this at least two layers, right? Oh, surprisingly, I didn't have a lot of bubbles to pop. Good deal, because I surely forgot to pop bubbles if I had any. So the next uh, suggestion slash request that I got for color combinations for this technique are neons. So that's really exciting. I actually like these colors together. This is a good negative space. And these colors are really hitting this canvas really good. This is really nice. Way to go, Dion, with this suggestion. So we'll do this twice. I'm trying to, I'm gonna go try a little lighter. Um, not as much paint, I think, on this next go around. This canvas is a 12 by 12, but I don't want it to get out of control because I do still have to put the paper towel on and the paper towel is not a 12 by 12 so i don't want it to get too big and then we can't do the reverse part so let's see um they're a little off huh. try to see if i shift it just a little what does that do it didn't open the smaller, the smallest one, which is gonna be okay. So these colors are really nice. When when Dion really suggested them, I and she suggested like all these different colors, and I was thinking of this technique more of like um, kind of like looking at a flower, and I just wasn't sure how this would look. But it's coming out really beautiful. Okay, so our next colors are blue and gold. And so if you haven't looked at the other one, um, I had explained in the other video that, um, let me see how to say this. When you're looking for bottles to do this with, not all bottles, the bottom of the bottle is created equal. And so what I found is that you really kind of need a soda bottle or a, a bottle from a sparkling water, but a regular water bottle will not work. Why? 
it won't work because it doesn't have the same um, indentations. And so if you if you turn over a water bottle, what you'll notice is that a water bottle has very faint indentations. It doesn't have these very defined indentations that you're going to find with a soda bottle or a sparkling water bottle. And so for that reason, you have to either use one of those. Not unless you like that design. Now, if you like that design, by all means, you can use a water bottle. But I found for like this technique, I really wanted those indentations to be very profound and very, you know, like I needed them to run off the way that they are. And so a water bottle just wasn't going to work for what I wanted to achieve. Now, if you don't want this to be as defined, you know, go for it. That's fine. That's what makes us all artists, right? And all unique because we have different styles. So what are you going to do with this in the middle? So, no, let me see. Let's try to pop some bubbles. And I really am trying to pop some of the air bubbles. If we got a little cells, we got some cells, that would be nice. But cells, like I always say, cells aren't necessary for every painting. Some cells look better in some paintings than others. So we have this little... Uh, middle and we don't really have anything in it right so I'm just gonna lightly take and I, I think I'm just gonna go all the way through since this next color was the same mm. I think I'm gonna go back through just trying to add something to it I can tell you that I'm not sure how we're going to reverse this because we are getting ready to run out of our space. Let me see. I think we can still do it. So what's happened? Let me see if I can get us back any. I don't know. Even if I try. I don't want to distort it too much. What I was trying to do when I just did that was <clears throat> I was actually trying to hope that this top could come down some. Now, it's going to come down with the paper towel. So, you don't see this. It's off camera, I believe. But I'm wetting a paper towel. And why? Because we call this a... Yikers! We call this a reverse dip. And... What that means is that the colors are gonna come in once we lay the paper towel. So, let's see here. <laughs> My poor glove has reached its limit. It is torn. With all that's going on right now, I'm trying to not use all of the gloves. I'm just going to go in here a little bit more just to see what it gives us. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to put the paper towel down. I think that we still have enough. that we can still cover it. That was my fear that it was going to spread too much to where we wouldn't be able to cover it. But we were able to get it down, yay. Of course, we'll be able to pull it up once we got it down. That won't be an issue. So I really thank everyone for all of the beautiful comments and I thank you for your support. Um, 
I think the new people that are starting to join and leave comments, jumping right in, leaving comments and giving suggestions, uh, that will all help the channel. Okay, so now I'm going to pick this up. I think I'm gonna take the gloves off. They are shot. Okay, so reverse dip. So when I bring this up, what's gonna happen is that it's not gonna, it's gonna kind of be smaller, I think. So we wanna bring this up edge to edge oh that's when the cells come I was wondering about the cells because we didn't have that many I'm gonna try to see it's a lot of cells popping up this is this really came out beautiful I'm trying to um, move it a little bit because, I, again, I'm trying to get it from off of the edge. I had hoped using a larger canvas, um, oh, my temperamental, and I just put butane in. All right, I think for the sake of this, I am going to go off camera. Oh, there you go. Wait a minute, I don't want it that high though. <laughs> All right, there we are. Now we're smoking with fire. Get some of these air bubbles out. We don't really need help with cells, but it is helping. So this really came out nice. Way to go, Dion, for this suggestion. I really like these colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tidy up because I'm gonna lay some more cayenne down and tidy up the edges and everything. And I may try to bring it back a little toward me. I'm not really sure that that's gonna help with the um, top of it, but I'll bring you back, thanks.